A safari adventure through Kenya is a travel experience of a lifetime. From awe-inspiring animal encounters to experiencing new traditions, it seems like non-stop epicness. But to truly experience all this country has to offer, there's going to be a lot of driving. Today we begin a three-day road trip across Kenya, experiencing some of the most gorgeous sights in the country. From boating with hippos to finishing our quest to see the Big Five to one of the most incredible hotels we've ever stayed in, it is going to be an amazing mad adventure. Let's go! Safari day four. And we are loaded up and moving again, this time to Lake Naivasha. We woke up at 6 a.m. again for the fourth day in a row and got all packed up. I have a four hour drive to get there. Once we get there, we're going to go on a boat tour. We made it to the lake. We're getting in this. <laughs> <laughs> Do -do -do. Photo time, of course. We made it to the lake and it's time for a boat ride. Our light jackets literally say hippo on them, so I think the goal is to see some hippos. But it's a whole new landscape here in Lake Naivasha. It's gonna be fun. We're loaded up in the boat. We're out on the lake. We've already seen several hippos, like so many hippos, which is just absolutely like kind of almost a little scary, very crazy and incredible that we're like literally like, I feel like they could just pop up underneath us accidentally and like, boop, there we all go. Like we're so close. Feet, feet away. Feet away. And then there's so many amazing birds here too. So definitely a birding and hippo expedition. Let's go. Seeing the wildlife from the water is such a fun change in perspective. Good morning, quick room tour. We are at Superior Hotels at Lake Navasha. We got this room, that mosquito net, this area. Robes is the first hotel with robes, so it's officially the most bougie. We got, if that didn't make it the most bougie, we also have a bathtub. This is our hotel, another place to sleep for the night. And now we are packed up again after one night here and we are going to be driving like four hours to our next hotel today. Today I think we're going to be exploring Mount Kenya. It's gonna be absolutely beautiful and I think we're gonna see the rhinos. Let's go. Pretty much every day we've been getting these breakfast buffets. Yeah. Eating so much. Yeah. I had lost a couple pounds in turkey, eating good there. Pretty sure I've gained it all back. That is very possible. <laughs> Unless I will say our like Apple watches are telling us that we've burned so many calories on these game drives. I don't know if that could possibly be oh true. My. Oh, there's like three or four hanging out. Yeah, I don't know if that could possibly be true, but that's what I'm telling myself as we hit these buffets. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're starting every morning with a buffet breakfast. Then this hotel has this 
a gorgeous view of Lake Navasha. And if we're lucky from the hotel itself, you can see where we went on the boat ride yesterday, where all the hippos are. Ah! And there's a bunch of cute little monkeys hanging around. It's good stuff. There's so many. We're using our camera as a blind off. <laughs> yeah. This is so cute. This is a great way to wake up. I, this hotel is amazing just for that. We just finished our coffee and we came out here and we're just hanging with hippos. Like I can't ask for a better way to wake up. I'm surprised they're awake so early. Yeah, they, they got, got stuff. They got stuff to do. Yeah, they got to start eating. Yeah, I guess it is a full-time job. <laughs> Load it back up. Will I go? Even the bathroom stops here are epic. This bathroom stops at the equator. Pretty crazy. Every bathroom stop includes a gift shop, but this one also includes a sleight of hand magic trick. I mean, science experiment. The Coriolis effect is a real thing, but this isn't exactly how it works. But hey, a live performance on the equator. That's a fun adventure. At last, we have made it to the luxurious Fairmont. Yeah, that's us looking bougie with our welcome drinks. This hotel is so nice. The food is delicious. And when the clouds are clear, it has incredible views of Mount Kenya. And don't even get me started on the rooms. Oh my gosh. We got a full cow. We have a fancy fireplace. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. Oh, big bathtub. Oh my gosh. There's no way. What? Is this included? Fireplace? Probably. Can you turn this and they'll light the fireplace and turn them to Oh wow, this is so nice. And not only is this hotel home to beautiful Riverview hotel rooms and crackling fires, it also houses an animal orphanage that takes in injured or neglected animals with the goal of releasing them back into the wild. Look at the toes. Whoa. Yeah, these it's are definitely dinosaur. the closest things to dinosaurs. Yeah. Hello. Oh. Steve Irwin right now, Ivan. On the topic of creating a safe haven for animals, we are headed to Old Pajita Conservancy, home to the fastest growing populations of rhinos in Africa. And we did it. We've officially seen the big five, buffalo, lion, elephants, leopards, and now rhinos. You guys, this is like the most exciting thing. We're about to go see some chimpanzees. We're out of the car. We are walking to see the chimpanzees. I am so stoked. A wild chimpanzee appears. I'm not gonna lie, I thought they were going to be on our side of the fence, especially when I saw those safety cages, but I'm super glad they're being protected so well. And then one of the craziest things we've seen so far is this horde of baboons headed this way to climb over that fence and sleep in safety for the night.
And then, I don't know who did what, but we ended up at this intense boxing match. But no one can tell who the ref is because they're all wearing stripes. Insanity. And while the park rangers can't protect the zebras from their own drama, they do monitor the endangered species in the park around the clock to protect them from poachers. This conservancy is home to the last two remaining northern white rhinos. Robe life, crackling fire life. It's a good life. Robe life. <laughs> Mouth guard life. <laughs> Mouth guard life. Uh -huh. Going to bed at the Fairmont life. We literally even have hot water bottles in our bed since we're here in the winter time. This is bougie. <laughs> We are living like celebrities oh, and former nice. American and Kenyan presidents right now at the Fairmont. Living our best life. Well, I am absolutely in love with the Fairmont. This has been the most amazing stay so far and I really don't want to leave. I just want to spend another night in my robe and slippers by the crackling fire. Sleeping with that crackling fire was next level. Um, but now it's time to move on. We are headed to Amberselli National Park today. Gonna hopefully see some elephants. Like literally just look at this beauty that we wake up to. Outrageously gorgeous. We got golf carts. It's everything. I'm gonna miss it here. It's Safari Day 6 and today we are doing absolutely nothing but driving. So let's just fast forward to the good part. That's Mount Kilimanjaro. We have made it to Amberselli National Park! We're gonna see some epic elephants. We already saw Mount Kilimanjaro coming in. It's gonna be dope. <laughs> Y'all, we're like one minute in and I can already tell this is going to be one of my favorite places we have ever visited. So join us on the next one as we explore this incredible park. Thank you so much for joining us for this mad adventure. Please hit that subscribe button. It seriously helps us so much. Hit that like button and we'll see you on the next one.